Hello friends, welcome to Delpro Farm Manager tutorial. Today uh, we will discuss few very important graphs uh, which will help farm management to make uh, quick decisions accurately. So uh, the first graph is a daily production overview of last seven days. In this graph, uh, we can see the pattern of uh, milk production, number of animals milked, and the average yield per animal. So this is a good graph which explains uh, how our animals are performing in the farm. Is production going up or down? Accordingly, we can take the corrective measures or we can make the commitments to the customers. And uh, next graph is very interesting. Uh, this is a reproduction herd distribution graph. In this graph, on the x-axis, we have uh, days after calving, and on the y-axis, we have uh, average yield. And each dot here is uh, one animal, a milking animal. And there is a color coding. The green cows are fresh cows after calving. The red cows are open and waiting for insemination. The blue cows are already bred cows and uh, yellow cows are confirmed pregnant cows and here you will find some orange color dots as well these are the dry cows so what is the importance of this graph this graph tells me uh, uh, very easily i can find if uh, a cow is not pregnant even during the late lactation uh, for example i look at this cow she has completed 237 days after calming and she is still not pregnant. Uh, I have uh, a cow here. She has completed 332 days after calving and she is not pregnant yet. But she is giving uh, the average yield of approximately 11 kg per day. Also, I can see that uh, the peak of uh, fresh cows is uh, around... 24 kg or 25 kg so this graph tells me uh, which cow needs immediate attention from breeding point of view the next graph uh, I like this graph very much from uh, milkers efficiency point of view here in this graph we will identify if uh, cows are I mean the, the cows of two groups are mixed uh, in one batch of milking so on the x-axis we have uh, batch number and on the y-axis we have the milk or the yield given by the cow and each dot is one cow the important part here is the color is telling me the group so this uh, color is uh, special high group uh, the sky blue color is uh, just carved and this blue color is uh, low yield group the dark blue color is for special group 2 and then I have dark green color they are special group 3 so I can see that here in this batch batch number 8 five cows are from the same group but one cow is of different color which means she is from a different group so this cow belongs to just calf group and remaining five cows are from special high group but they are milked in one single batch so it is a it is a possibility that these cows are mixed in the barn as well right similarly in he, uh, here in batch number 11 you will see that these five cows are from uh, group uh, low yield and uh, this cow is from just calf cow so this is also mixed with this group uh, this helps me to quickly identify and tell my uh, people to catch the cow and put her back to the correct group so that she gets the optimized feed and uh, next group which I like the most is uh, the the flow of the milk um, in this graph on the, on the x-axis we have uh, uh, the average flow between 0 to 15 seconds after attaching the cluster then 15 to 30 seconds then 30 to 60 seconds 60 to 120 seconds and then we have the average takeoff flow and each color here 
is a different group but the thick red line is the average of all cows so here we can see that uh, the, the when the cluster is attached the between uh, 0 to 15 seconds uh, the the flow is approximately uh, uh, 0.39 kg per minute and uh, when it reaches 30 seconds then the flow is around 1.46 kg per minute uh, it remains 1.5 kg till 1 minute and then uh, it remains same even at 2 minutes and then it drops down and takeoff is happening at uh, approximately 0.18 kg per minute so from this graph I can understand whether my milkers are preparing the cows before milking or not because this graph is telling me that cows are not milked that is why the graph is stable between 30 seconds till 2 minutes if the cow is prepared quickly I mean if the cow is prepared properly then the graph will move up like a straight line and uh, it may touch 2 kg or 2.5 kg and then slowly slowly it will come to the takeoff flow so from here when we see from 30 seconds till 2 minutes the average flow is almost same it shows that most of the cows are not prepared properly before attaching the cluster in the milking parlor so I can guide my milkers that please take care of the cow preparation and uh, take care uh, that uh, the oxytocin is uh, in force and only then they attach the cluster so that milking happens smoothly next important graph is uh, the parlor performance graph so here this one complete circle is for 24 hours here in this graph it is showing me that the parlor is used for 5 hours 13 minutes which includes morning milking and evening milking so if I consider almost uh, 2 hours for cleaning as well for morning and evening the parlor is uh, utilized only for seven to eight hours per day so they have uh, still possibility to milk more number of cows and it helps me to understand when will i need to have another parlor or how many more cows i can milk in the parlor and this is the same graph of last seven days milk production as we have on the monitor board Another important graph is a uh, milking performance detail graph which shows me how our uh, milkers are doing the milking efficiently. For example, on the x-axis we have all the batch numbers. So for how many cows they enter the manual ID. So in batch number uh, 13, three cows were not identified. And remaining all batches identification was okay so I am okay with it then I can see uh, how many how many manual controls were taken so I can see almost uh, on, on every batch they are taking two or three cows uh, with manual control so which is not good I can ask my milkers why you are taking manual control and if there is any problem let's solve that problem rather than taking the manual control uh, this is all about the KPIs of milkers uh, I'm discussing in this graph then we can see how many times cluster is reattached so uh, we can see almost in every batch two or three cows uh, are reattached once the cluster is taken off again milkers are attaching the cluster uh, it is also an indication that cows are not prepared properly so just by looking at these graphs the farm management can understand the behavior of the milkers in the parlor there uh, there are few other things which we can try for example average milking duration so we can see that in some batch uh, the milking duration is around 5.5 minute and sometimes it is only two minutes sometimes it is uh, four minutes etc so this depends on the potential of the cow that is okay but uh, we need to know in which batch uh, the cows were from which group and the time taken for milking is appropriate or not so in graphical way we can easily identify that 
so these are the uh, few basic graphs by looking uh, at them we can quickly understand the performance of uh, our farm and uh, also we can understand how our milkers are working uh, if you want to see the milk production beyond seven days here you have an option if you click here you can see the historical uh, milk production in the graphical form for last 30 days or last 60 days or last 365 days or you can decide uh, two dates so if i if i check it for last 60 days that this blue color is for a number of cows milk so the last 60 days uh, they are milking uh, approximately uh, between 160 to 180 cows and the red color is showing me uh, the total uh, yield uh, so the production here is like 1796 kg and here it is around 1726 kg so the milk production is approximately 1700 to 1800 every day and uh, the gray line is the average yield per animal so we can see this gray line is trending at uh, approximately 10.7 kg uh, whereas 60 days before it was uh, around 10.2 so the average is also between 10 to 11 kg uh, these graphs are telling me that the performance is almost without any change for last 60 days uh, i hope such graphs will make your job easy for decision making and uh, please let me know if you want to know how to use these graphs uh, further in detail or there are options to make more graphs as well if you want to make more graphs and please let me know i will check if the possibility is there i will definitely help you to make those graphs thank you very much stay safe and uh, thanks for watching dell pro tutorial have a great day bye bye